I love you guys so much. I know I say that like all the time in every video and we've even talked about on the show, like how can you love someone without knowing them? But every time I film for you, I can feel God's love for each and every one of you. You're never alone. You're so loved beyond comprehension. Hey guys, it's Mimi. Welcome back to Saints Unscripted. Obviously by the title, this is going to be a little bit of a sad video. This is my last video here on Saints Unscripted. So if you haven't heard already, the reason that I haven't been in any videos is because I recently moved to Phoenix, Arizona with my husband, Eric. So I graduated, we both graduated in the spring from BYU. So we are no longer in Utah where they filmed the show. And this is so like bittersweet, more bitter, honestly. I'm gonna miss doing the show so much. Um, but I wanted to do a farewell video just to express my gratitude, talk about some of my favorite moments and what the show has meant to me, and then also uh, let you guys know where we can keep in touch after. Because honestly, the best thing about being a part of this all has been the people I've gotten to meet, not just like the other hosts and the crew and the guests, although that that was such an amazing part, but just the viewers and feeling like I got to be a part of so many uh, like special moments in your lives. Like I still get messages from people saying that they ended up joining the church because of our videos or that they this gave them the courage to talk to their parents about wanting to go to church. The, like there's nothing more special than that. And so I, I just want to thank you guys. So I started on Saints and Scripted almost three years ago. Hey everybody, this is Mimi. Hello. That's when I started this whole journey and it's so crazy to think about like how much I've changed and how different my life is than it was then. And my life is not anywhere where I thought it would be at this point. Uh, because plans change, obviously, and God has a plan for all of us, but everything worked out just perfectly. Uh, three years ago, I was just a little pageant girl just starting at BYU. I had just transferred and I had no idea what I was doing. I wanted to be a news anchor. That is what I wanted to do with my career. And that's why I auditioned for Saints and Scripted, or three Mormons at the time. I wanted this to be experience for me going into uh, news media, which is crazy because that's not even what I'm doing now. Um, so it's, it's crazy how things have changed. And honestly, when I think about my growth as a person and my spiritual growth over the last few years, so much of it comes back to Saints Unscripted. And so I have a few questions here I'll be answering that our producer, Rachel, sent over. And you guys, Rachel is seriously, like, incredible. She is the heart of this show. I know you guys don't know her very well, but I know her. And she's seriously one of the most incredible people I've ever met. I'm so blessed to know her. But she asked, um, what are some things that I learned doing the show? And I think the biggest thing is that Faith is everything. When I joined the show, I felt at times very spiritually inadequate. I felt that the other hosts just knew a lot more than me, and I didn't have a lot that I could add to the show. So there were times that that was really hard on me, and I would literally do so much research, spend so much time preparing, so I felt like I could even say anything in the episodes. Um, and it's something that I prayed a lot about, and eventually I realized that it's not about how many scripture mastery verses you know, or it's not about how much you know about church history. It's about your faith because that is why we're here um, on this earth. And I realized that I didn't need to know everything to contribute. And I think a lot of us, that's a big thing that holds us back from missionary work, right? It's, oh, like I could share the gospel, but I don't know everything. And what if they ask me something I don't know? I don't wanna look foolish. Um, but I realized that that's not what it's all about. And that really gave me um, 
a better perspective. I feel a lot more comfortable with sharing the gospel now, knowing that we don't need to be perfect. We don't need to do everything because us as people sharing the gospel, that's not our job. Our job is to bring people to Christ and then he takes care of the rest. So we can do that by having the light of Christ in our countenance and showing our faith to people who we talk to. And that's probably the biggest lesson that I learned from being on the show. Um, She also asked how the show has changed me for better or for worse. Um, I don't know of a lot of ways that it changed me for worse. I don't think Um, one thing that I definitely feel like changed me from being on the show is not caring as much about what people think of me. And heaven knows how much I needed that at that point in my life when I started the show. Um, I was so anxious and I wanted to be in control of how people like thought about me. I was so consumed with that. And so being a part of the show has just taught me that, you know, whether like no matter what you say or do, not everyone is going to be happy with it. So it's so important to stay true to yourself and do what you know is best. Be yourself. And then some people, it's like darned if you do, darned if you don't. Um, so I realized that it's just best to follow your heart and do what you know is right and not worry so much about other people. I feel like worrying about that is selfish, I have realized. And uh, the more that you just think about how I can serve other people around us, that's when you're really able to be an instrument in the hand of the Lord. Another thing, I briefly talked about this in the beginning, but I feel like I was really changed by you, like by the viewers. And I don't want to name people like one by one, but you know who you are. I've had so many connections with you outside of the show. They've turned into real life connections and just like I said, being able to be a part of your spiritual journey, like that blows my mind. Um, You guys know I didn't serve a mission. I had always prepared to, I had always wanted to, um, and it just wasn't in the cards for me. And I truly feel like Saints and Scripted was my opportunity to be a missionary. And it's something that I never thought was possible because like, obviously I didn't serve a mission, but I always felt like I had something in me I don't know how to explain it. And partially it's from like my patriarchal blessing. I just knew that I wanted to spread and share the gospel. And I never thought that a YouTube channel would be how that comes into fruition. So I'm so grateful that you guys have given me this opportunity and that I've been able to have so many conversations with you. Um, you guys have changed me. Like I, I honestly feel like I've learned more from you than you've probably learned from me. Um, and I could not be more grateful. And I really hope that we can stay in touch. Another thing Rachel wanted me to touch on is what I'm doing now. Like what are my plans moving forward? So obviously, um, my husband and I just moved and graduated. So a lot of Big changes are happening. We're getting settled in here in Arizona. And based on Eric's career, we may um, be moving again in another year or so and then be more settled in somewhere. So I will be excited about that. Not as much moving and packing and cleaning and all of that stuff. Um, Career-wise, I now work in social media management. I just started a business doing management and social media strategy for small to medium-sized businesses, which is insane. And Saints Unscripted really helped me see uh, potential in having social media as a career, which I never thought was possible before. Like I said, I wanted to be a news anchor, um, but I realized that this was the career for me. So that's what I have been doing. I obviously also have my own YouTube channel that I will continue to post videos on. I love YouTube. I don't think I'll ever stop like doing YouTube videos now. Um, The channel is just called Mimi Bascom and I do videos all about LDS news, doctrine, and culture. And so on my personal channel, I either will have uploaded a video or will be uploading a video. 
depending on when this video is uploaded, but that'll be again, all about my experience on Saints and Scripted. I'll be answering a ton of questions, more about the behind the scenes. So if you're interested in seeing that video, it'll be live on my personal YouTube channel. Uh, you can also stay in touch with me on Instagram or TikTok, whatever social media platforms you use. I'm probably there, uh, but Instagram, that's where I post a lot of stuff about like my life. Um, and also a lot of modest fashion stuff. So if you're interested in that, that's where you should head over to. Before I end this, I don't want this video to be too, too long because we all know I could just talk and talk forever. But I just wanted to thank again everyone who has made this whole show possible. I feel like it's uh, like me and some of the other hosts get so many compliments about the show. And I feel like I am not the person to be receiving that because I play such a small part in this. There's so many people behind the scenes who go into this. Rachel, like I said, is like the heart of the show and is seriously such an incredible human being. Like she, I feel like she's changed me so much and just having her example in my life has meant so much to me. She's such a strong woman in the church and we, we need more role models like that. There's Tyson, who is one of my favorite people ever. Um, he is the one who edits our videos and just like one of the sweetest, most kind and genuine and sincere souls I've ever met. He's probably like, kicking himself because my AC just kicked on. So he's like, oh my gosh, the audio. Um, Jake is our videographer extraordinaire. Seriously, he is so, so funny and kind. And every time he was on set, it just made the whole experience so much more fun. Um, of course, there's people like David Grant, who is incredible. He was Han Solo in the Star Wars video we did. It's true. All of it. He is seriously been like a father figure to me and the other hosts. Such an incredible person. I'll be, I'm so grateful for him. And there's so many others. Um, the new hosts, I don't know like super well. I know Taylor. Taylor. Hi. Who is just starting. And he is so, so, so awesome. So smart. I'm so excited to see what he does on the show. And then Samantha. Hey guys, I haven't met her, but I did see her audition video, which I thought was amazing. I recommended her um, and I'm excited to see how the show continues. Please, please continue to support the show. I know how scary it was to be a new host. So send love to the new host. They are so great. And then to the OGs, Kwaku, Justin, and David, I'll be so, I'm so grateful for their friendship and I'll forever be grateful for all the memories that we share. You guys are seriously like the brothers that I've never had. I, we have so many fun memories together that I will never forget from filming the general conference trailers to meetups together and just carpool. By the way, for viewers, if you didn't know, I was the carpool mom. I used to be, um, I would pick up Kwaku and Justin and drive them. I'd have snacks and we'd all drive to filming together. Um, and we've just been, again, through so much together. And I will always consider you family, even though we may not always agree on the same things, um, or just have different perspectives on things. I will always love you guys as brothers. And I want to thank you for being such a big part of my life and being my friend. So I just want to leave you with my testimony. You guys, I know that this is the true church. I know it more than I ever thought I could. Um, it's crazy that even though we can read the Book of Mormon and the Bible countless times and learn the same lessons and principles in church, our testimony can still develop and grow each and every day by executing the principles that we learn and following the Lord's commandments and just even reading the scriptures again, like reading the Book of Mormon again for the Come Follow Me this year. It's crazy. There's so many little things that I am taking from it that I never thought about before. Um, I know that this church is true because we can continue developing and we become more uh, like the Savior each and every day if we follow the commandments. I know that Joseph Smith was a true prophet. I have been learning more about church history. That's probably the biggest thing that I've learned more about from being a part of the show because we get a lot of questions about church history. And through studying 
myself. I know he's a true prophet. I really, really do. He was truly inspired by God to translate the Book of Mormon. And I know that looking at the story and looking at everything from an outside perspective, it seems so crazy. But the more that you learn about church history, it's so symbolic and so beautiful. And there's so much that is, you know, represented from the Old Testament and was brought to modern day. Um, and it's beautiful. So if church history is something that like freaks you out a little bit, or you're like, just don't know a lot about it, dive in, read the saints book. It's incredible. The gospel is so beautiful and it's so true. And I, I just, I know it. I know that the ordinances and covenants we make in temples will last now and throughout eternity. They are true. Um, I'm so grateful for temples. I'm so grateful for the sealing power that we have on earth that was given to us again through modern day. Um, I know that we have a prophet living on the earth today named President Russell M. Nelson. He holds the keys. I know the priesthood is, is true and real, and it's the most powerful force on earth. And I'm so grateful that I'm able to access the power of the priesthood every single day. I love being a woman in the LDS church. I love having the opportunity to serve fellow members. Um, and I feel so empowered being a woman in the church. Uh, the more that I learn about the role of women, it makes me feel so amazing. And it reminds me that I'm a daughter of God and I have infinite worth. And yeah, I'm, I'm just so grateful for the restoration of the gospel. I know that Jesus Christ lives and that he loves each one of you. You can always access the power of his atonement. And he, he died for you. He would do it again just for you. And if you ever feel alone, you can go to him. I love the churches. You focus on hearing him. Um, and I know that we can hear him in our lives and that he listens to us too. I love you guys so much. I know I say that like all the time in every video and we've even talked about on the show, like how can you love someone without knowing them? But every time I film for you, I can feel God's love for each and every one of you. You're never alone. You're so loved beyond comprehension. Um, and I'm again, so grateful that I've gotten the chance to talk to you guys over the years. So I'm gonna wrap this up before I get too rambly. I already am, but I really hope we can all stay in touch and I love you guys. Bye.